kite him or well whatever it, he just dies to nothing and the same with enemy Caitlyn only Amumu is anywhere yeah smarter than that he, he hasn't run into my turret once he backed out at the right times he is yeah well he's playing Amumu as he should he's engaging as he should Unfortunately, we don't get the kill here. And our um, Caitlyn does get killed. But, well, here again, you can see him standing there doing nothing until his clone dies. <laughs> which was kind of a telltale sign of not a very good player. I normally, if I if I play Shaco, I don't actually do anything with the clone at all. I mean, he helps me to get a kill on a turret, for example, or on a dragon, or whatever target I had in mind. But then I, he just dies, I don't care. Because if he dies, you get 300 bonus damage or something, and I guess this guy is trying to get the 300 bonus damage done. I'm not sure how much it is, but it doesn't really matter. But to me, that's not really worth it. The the damage uh, of your clone is not really worth it. The trouble of actually maneuvering him around, trying to get him into position. I just alt right click and then it's done. Oh, at this point, uh, Twitch is 0 and 11. He realizes that he's just the worst player ever. And... <laughs> uh, wait, that's me. Um, and he just goes AFK. And we can see him standing in the bush. So... I think... Well, maybe he's just well tired of playing at the moment and he's going to come back or he's going to disconnect and actually go to yeah this was very stupid of me that's the worst mistake I made this game I think probably um, at, the, at the moment I did this I ran out of the bush instead of uh, staying in which was a total accident and I knew at that moment that I was I was dead and I didn't even know the other two champions were there. I just so saw Caitlyn and yeah. But 6 and 1 is still respectable. But at this point uh Twitch is AFK and he's not going to come back. So first he goes 0 and 11 and then he just goes AFK. So fortunately the opponents haven't found him yet, but I'm now going to write to them that they should be professional enough to actually not kill him. I mean, that's just, yeah well, it's bad mannered if you kill a person who is either AFK or disconnected. Well, you shouldn't do that. I mean, it's, yeah well, it's lame. Anyway, just farming up a bit, and at this point I realize Twitch is probably not going to come back. So, oh, this is a pretty bad mistake too. Because of course they're all there. And I get killed. Yeah, well, at this point it doesn't really matter anymore because Twitch is AFK, staying at oh zero and ten he is now because well, at some point of course they're going to find him and they're going to kill him for the eleventh time. So now you'd say um, they basically aced us because we're both dead and. Well, the rat is AFK, so it's 3v2. 
they should easily be able to finish us in the next two minutes. But instead they just back out. I mean, there's still 20 seconds to go before I respawn, but they just back out. So, at least Caitlyn gets an inhibitor and then goes out again. I don't know. But we respawn and we finish up these creeps. At this point I'm still hoping that Twitch is coming back. But I'm 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 now pretty certain he doesn't. Well, after the game I mean. So they got dragon. Um I could help you do that and we're pretty much lost because two versus three is quite easy to win when the enemy team doesn't have a jungler and it happens in the beginning of the game so if you're 2 versus 3 right at the beginning of the game uh, you're going to win uh, but yeah well in this case we're already at level oh I'm already at level 18 the Twitch is still level 11. But, yeah, well, he leads so much experience by now and he fed the enemy team uh, so much that there's basically nothing that can make up for that. So it's going to be 2 versus 3 and it's we're going to lose at this point. I am of course going to uh, report the rats and I surrender. So they kill Twitch here. Of course. So but we cannot actually surrender because Riot made this well let's just call it what it is. This stupid system where you have to vote all three yes to actually surrender. But with one of them being AFK, yeah, you cannot actually surrender. And still, nothing is happening. They're not killing turrets. They're not actually killing the Nexus. This dude could have easily killed the turret there. If he just al used his ultimate he would have easily gotten the turret. But yeah, he didn't. So, trying to keep it the game interesting and yeah, well, just basically trying to defend uh, to, to learn how to defend here. Cuz why not? I have nothing better to do. Yeah, at this point we're just trying to defend our base. We have no intention of pushing out because uh, if we push out they're just going to either backdoor us like they are doing now or they're just going to gank us 3v2 which isn't very good either. So just cleaning up another minion wave. Yeah, and instead of getting some damage on the turret here, she tries to get some damage on me. Which is fine by me, I don't care. So trying to heal up the turrets with Heimer in the vicinity of the turret, it heals up quicker. The, the Nexus turret always regenerates its health, by the way, on 3v3 maps. 
pretty sure on 5v5 maps it's not the case. But here it does, and Heimer can heal tur turrets anyway. Not to a great extent, but well, it does help. So again, 